it feels amazing and I can't really believe that a little kid from Ireland got to part of Matilda. So Alicia, first of all, I'm from Ireland and when we saw you on the movie the other day, there was a scream from people, the Irish people just go, yes! How does that feel, you know, that we're all behind you watching you do this movie? Um, it feels amazing and I can't really believe that a little kid from Ireland got to part of Matilda. Um, but I'm just really grateful for like Matthew for whatever he's seen that he liked and he thought that I could portray um, Matilda. So I just tried to portray the best kind of Matilda that I could. What's not to like? I know. <laughs> Can you remember where you were when you got the call to say, you're gonna be in it? It was on the 10th of December because it was my mum's birthday. Um, and my mum said like, Matthew wants to just have a chat with you. And um, so like, I couldn't really, I didn't really know what to expect because like, I didn't want to expect like, just in case it was a no. So um, he just called me and then he said like, we'd like to offer you as a part of Matilda. And I just like burst into tears and my whole family was there. My mum, my dad and my two sisters. So. Wow. Andrea, for yourself, being in something like as Matilda, everyone knows Matilda, whether it's the musical or the, or the, or the movie. Uh, how does that feel for you? It's really amazing because it has two different, well, it has lots of different fan bases because there's there are film, there's a film of Matilda before our film and then, of, co of course, everything comes from the book. And I think Roald Dahl affected, has affected so many generations of not just kids but adults. I mean, he wrote the book and all of his others as an adult in his shed, in his garden, sort of processing his childhood. So there's something that everybody can relate to and there's a lot of there's a lot of darkness in the books as as well as light and you know um i think um i've gone off peace now oh, don't worry don't worry <laughs> well, what was what was the beginning of the question like, what was it, what does it feel like to be in something so iconic right okay sorry there's so this it's so vast because there's a book and then the musical and then the, the now our film version of the musical um so it feels like a lot of pressure actually and kind of unbelievable to be part of it I mean I think when you make a musical or when you make a, a film of a book it will forever be immortalized in some way it's, it's quite a responsibility because you're taking the words of a re, a something really precious to many many people and then making it this visual thing um, and you're attached to it forever, you know, like our images are attached to it. Though I can't say I'm, I, do, I don't dress very much like Mrs. Wormwood. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> That's the next question. Like, how, how did you go about this? You know, because you're a would be a bit mean, let's just say. Bit or, mean. Yeah. yeah. How, did, how did you go about it? Like, were you kind of going, oh God, I can't say that. Or I can't say that. It's your job to do it. But was there something inside you going, oh. I think you've just got to um, let rip, haven't you? When you get your character, I think <laughs> Alicia was saying that earlier that that she was being asked about how brilliant her accent was, which is so so superb. And once you just step into the character, yeah. and everyone, you know, when somebody says action, then suddenly you you're there. Mm -hmm. Seeing Miss Trunchbull for the first time, what was that like? Was that terrifying in a way knowing that there was someone underneath all that or how did because when I first saw Emma I went whoa this is scary yeah it doesn't look like Emma at all because there's so many like she has got so much prosthetics on and like I seen her for rehearsals like without it and then like when we went into filming it was like a completely different person and her two characters are like completely two completely different people it's just it, it I, I every time I've, I've seen it like I've seen the movie twice now and it's been part of me going this is like at my childhood like I was you watching it and then all of a sudden I was the adult can we just talk about Miss Honey as well for oh, a second wow the Shan is just fantastic in it what was she like to work with what was it must have been beautiful. She she's amazing. She's like a real life Miss Honey <laughs> in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. And she said she said that about you as Matilda as well, because Alicia's very kind and very and very, very smart. And Lashana is like this magical, gifted human, isn't she? <laughs> and her voice is incredible. It's amazing. And she's such a fine actor. Guys, my time is up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Her play that was Thank great. You. She was brilliant.